Hello, and welcome to the Lund University International Podcast. On the show, you'll hear from current students, alumni, teachers, and many more special guests as we explore what it's really like to live and study at Lund University. My name is Tim Park, and I'm your host for today's episode. Admission results are out. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best feeling you can get on this really, really long application period. Admission results are out. And today we're going to be talking about the Going app, which is an awesome app for admitted students. And in the studio with me today, I have two current international students. So please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Meg. I am from Seattle, Washington, USA, and I'm currently studying a master's in applied cultural analysis. And I'm Daniela, and I'm also from the U.S., California to be specific, and I'm one year in my international marketing and brand management program. Nice. And it is currently snowing outside. It's yeah. <laughs> super cozy. First, so. you hear the difference in the excitement. Yeah. Of <laughs> yeah, you're like more used to it. It's like my first snow, so. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. It is pretty really beautiful, actually. It truly is. Yeah. I can yeah. say that. <laughs> and you both got to use the Going app. It's an app for students that are admitted to Lund University, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. So you mentioned a code gets sent out? Yes. Yeah. So you get a code in your email and that makes sure that there's not a bunch of random people in the app. You're yeah. solely talking with either newly admitted or current students from Lund University. Um, and then you go ahead and follow the link in the email, use that code, you log in and make an account, and then you say a little bit about yourself. So your photo, what you're studying, your name, where you're from, um, and then there's a little spot that you can put a bio. So you really start with the bare basics, and then you have the option you can pull up a map and see where other admitted students are from. So if you're really hoping to find somebody else from your country and talk mm -hmm. to them about the process, you can chat with them or you yeah. can find somebody else from another area. Yeah, and coming internationally, I actually really like that there was this code built in because it's like almost a safety net. Like mm -hmm. you know that these people are actual real students and you're not being like, I mean, at least in my home university, we were all just put into like a Facebook group chat, but these could be like not real people. Mm -hmm. And so at least I know these are actual students. And um, I actually took this advantage of messaging current students that were like in their two year program or something mm -hmm. and asked them, like, what should I pack or what do you recommend <laughs> I should do when I first arrive or, you know, all those things that you have to do in the first week that is so like hectic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that helped me a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we were the guinea pigs for the going yeah. app. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember getting the email saying like, we're going to send you a code for you to log in. And then mm -hmm. like you can start chatting with current students or like new students are coming in. And I was like, I'm so ready for this. Like, it was please. Really <laughs> great yeah. yeah, I yeah. was like already thinking about, OK, how am I going to figure out who else got admitted from my program? Same. And how will I stock them? Like, what's yeah. the best <laughs> app to use? Yeah. But then to have the university give us something. Exactly. Like the first thing I did when I logged in was I made uh, our program where shorten it to Maca. I made a Maca group. Nice. And I started the app has an option where you can check because you say your name, what you're studying, mm -hmm. your interest, you put a little photo. So I went and looked and I could find anybody else who had also already joined and was part of the Maca program. And exactly. I just started adding us all to a group. Every I day I'd check and add more people. Yeah, it was fun. Or like just connecting with people. Like I would just look at people's profile pictures. And I'm like, oh yeah, they look cool. Mm -hmm. add, <laughs> add, add, add. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really great because you can, uh, there was like the group option. So besides just academics, mm -hmm. people, I mean, it started with a few groups, but I checked this morning and we're at like hundreds of different oh, options yeah. if you want hiking, if you want to find travel buddies, if you want to find, you know, um, somebody with the same interest for the same sport or religion or language. Yeah. There's so many they options. have a group for everything. I love that. Mm -hmm. Also, I met like two of my friends, or my current really close friends ongoing. Yeah. So I, I met um one of the current people that is my program. Mm -hmm. And so I messaged her and I was like, hey, so we're in the same program. And then she ended up being the first person I met when I moved here for Aww. the first time. So it was kind of nice because you see this person, they're kind of familiar, yeah. but then when you actually meet them, you're like, okay, it's, mm -hmm. it's happening, it's real. And then one of the second friends also, I also like matched on um, going as well, so. Same thing, like yeah. one of the people that I meet up with every week, I met on yeah. going. she was from my state, from Washington. Oh. I never, no, yeah, never I met her before. Her. Yeah. <laughs> I had never met her before, and we just happened to connect here. And now, like, we went to Gothenburg for the Christmas markets last week. We're going to go to Edinburgh this weekend. Oh, it's going to be like, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So it's just that's somebody I never would have met if I hadn't been on the app. Yeah. yeah. Even just um, 
just the little things that you you're not really sure about. For example, when you were talking about uh, we, I think we both live in LU accommodation. Yeah. We were able to join an LU accommodation yeah, chat, nice. and you could ask all your questions. Well, how did you guys decide to do this? Well, what did you rank? What about yeah. even as the summer went on and you started to get results from other things, you could go on going and say, "Hey, did anybody else get this email? What does this mean?" And check in with other students oh, and see sure. where they were at too. Yeah, 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 that helped me a lot as well. Because mm-hmm. I was always very unsure about a lot of things, and so sometimes when, when like the office of um, for example, the, the U.S. supervisor that would help us. Mm-hmm. If she was out of office, I'd be like, let me go on, go in and see what everyone else is doing. Mm-hmm. See if maybe there's like a, a common, um, I don't know. Common issue. Common, or, yeah. <laughs> common issue, yeah. yeah. Nice. That's Thanks. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I used to be an international student myself, and now I'm really sad that I didn't get to use this awesome app. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you mentioned there's a lot of different groups in there and that you can create groups. Yeah. How does that work? Yeah. So... Basically, there's a feature on the app, and um, it's a little section where you could see all the groups that have been made by current students. And the groups I joined in was like the LGBTQ plus app, um, group, and there was also like um, traveling buddies group mm-hmm. where people were like planning, oh, we should go somewhere during the weekend. So if you're just like moved here, you don't have that many friends, you still have like that support or like that group to go on um, trips with. And then there's also my own program had its own group. So that was nice to start getting to know my classmates and to see like, I don't know how it's going to be. Yeah. 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 I made the group, like I said, for my class yeah, nice. and that worked out really well. And, and eventually, you know, I actually look back at the conversations we were having before and it's so wholesome to see because yeah. we're just all so excited to get there, all coming from separate parts of the world and just talking about like, well, this is why I chose the program mm-hmm. and this is where I'm coming from. This is my background. Just conversations I wouldn't have been yeah. able to have until the first day of class otherwise. And I'm very yeah. impatient. So I was happy, oh, happy, <laughs> those, <laughs> happy to be having those, you know, in the summer instead. Yeah. And when I arrived to like to my first day of class orientation, I was yeah. like, these people look familiar. Mm-hmm. Like you recognize them off of their, <laughs> yeah. their going profile picture. And you're like, oh. And I was wondering, you know, because um, I was like, maybe this is just for newly admitted students and it'll die down a little bit. But even now I find that going is still pretty widely used by students who are for sure. here. Even myself, um, we have one for specifically, I live in Cluster Gordon LU accommodation yeah. and we have one. We have a chat for Cluster Gordon Tim too. Um, <laughs> I used to live there. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> and constantly you'll get a message, hey, you know, did you guys see that bright flash? What was that? Or why is there a yeah. sign going off? Or hey, I locked my laundry in my room. Whoever please has help. this appointment, can you please message me? <laughs> that always happens. Yes, it does. And we have we have no other means of communicating with each other because it's such a large, you know, there's two whole yeah. buildings and so the Go On app is really what we use. And so it's really nice that it's there and that we can continue using it 100%. even after we are current students. Yeah. <laughs> I still get requests to like connect. And like, yeah, yes. new friends. <laughs> yeah, new friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. So it sounds to me like a sense of community. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yes. 100%. Yeah. You even have, uh, we have a hiking group. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, so hiking yeah. is in my blood. <laughs> I didn't know since Skona was so flat if there was yeah. going to be anything to find, but there's, <laughs> So much beautiful nature around here. And oh, yeah. even like one of the second year students really took it on himself. He like led the group and made a whole, okay, here's the links for That's everywhere nice. that you can go hiking. And here's the bus routes and let's plan a trip for your first week here. And it was just kind of like, a wow. Yeah. Just, I didn't have that, but that's nice. You <laughs> should join the hiking. I need to hiking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm really interested to hear about all the groups that you've been in and that you've been used. Please tell yeah. me more. Hiking sounds fantastic. Yeah. 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 I think the one that I just used the most was the one in my program Mm -hmm. because we were all just like trying to get to know each other. And we knew from the beginning that we had to find the thesis partners of people were already like Mm -hmm. scouting out like, hey, let's connect individually and stuff like that. So that is mainly what I used it for. But then, like I said, um, if people were planning trips as well, I got like interested in that. And also through going, we were able to like, like if you really wanted to talk to someone, you can also like talk to each other on another app as well. They'll be like, oh, do you have Instagram? Oh, do you have this? Mm-hmm. And so it kind of like, you start to like, I don't know, put these people into your actual like real life. They're not just like yeah, ongoing as well. So that was nice. That's yeah. mainly what I used it for. The Travel Buddies one is still super active, um, which is great, especially as, you know, holidays start approaching yeah. and things like that. It can be really difficult. Um, if yeah. you know you're not going home and you're not quite sure what you want to do and 
for example, um, most of my program is Europeans. And so they're all going to take a quick flight home. Mm -hmm. I will not be doing the 12 hour trip back home to Seattle. (laughs) Yeah. But the Travel Buddies app has tons of people saying, hey, like, I'm not going home for the holidays. Does anybody want to join me to insert city here? I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah, And it's just it's kind of heartwarming of like this is an opportunity for people again to come together Mm -hmm. when they need each other and and going really facilitates that. That's fantastic. So yeah. please tell me about some of your travel trips, because it sounds like going really just builds up that sense of community and lets you have an awesome student life at Lund. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I also like there was one um, I'm blanking on the name of the group, but it was basically just going on picnics. <laughs> and like we met up in a, in a park one time. And that was so sweet. It was so wholesome because we were all just like, hey, are you from going? And they're like, yeah. And then we just sat and talked and we really got to know each other. And it was beautiful. I mean, when you first arrived in August, the sun is out long days, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it was just a really nice way of like, I don't know, just realizing, oh, I'm in Sweden. And and it's it's crazy. So (laughs) funny. You you end up talking to so many people. Even today when I met Daniela for the first time, she mentioned somebody that I had met on Goen. She said his (laughs) name and I was like, oh, this person that lives here. Yes, we've chatted. We live in the same. We were chatting in the accommodation. Yeah. You meet people and you're like, we've spent an entire month over the summer chatting and now here we are. Like, we both made it. And it's, Mm -hmm. yeah, it's really wholesome. But all sorts of uh, little events that trickle through. There's board game groups. So I've definitely gone to a few board game nights that have stemmed from that. Um, There's really oddly specific groups, like a certain sect of Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know how to understand it, but like, yeah. (laughs) But but, um, the nice thing is if there's not something that floats your boat, you can make it. And there's so many people on the app, guaranteed you will find somebody else who who also likes that thing. Oh, for sure. No, there's a, there's like a group for thrifting and they just like put in their favorite thrift stores like around Sweden or in Loon specifically. Mm -hmm. And I love thrifting. So I was like, yes, (laughs) join me. (laughs) So that was a lot of fun as well. I remember that. I'll also say it was a really great way to meet Swedes. Um, Yes. Yeah. I was just just thinking that. (laughs) It's an easier way. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You know, Americans are pretty open, open, <laughs> yeah. aggressive with our friendliness, um, and and Swedes are a little bit quieter in person. But on the going app, if you reached out and you asked something, hey, I'm wondering this about Sweden, yeah. or saw this phrase online, what does this mean, or just like a hey, I see you're from Lund or you're from Skåne, like what do you think yeah. of ABC? They're always so 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 happy and and oh, yes. and welcome Super to share. Kind. Yeah. I remember another a Norwegian on the hiking group was talking us through like. All right. I think there was some um, African students who were talking about like, well, what clothes do I need? And they were like, all right, let's talk layers. Like yeah. they were really, really helpful. Giving us the rundown. Yeah. yeah I like that a lot as well. Mm-hmm. Nice. And there's a saying in Sweden, there's no such thing as bad weather, only oh bad God. clothes. Uh, so. Yes. <laughs> I've heard that like three times now. <laughs> well, it's and it's snowing. true. <laughs> it is very true. Winter boots. Definitely a good option when it's snowing. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No kidding. I, I only room. have my dog Martins. I don't know if that's oh, winter boots. As long as they can grip on the, <laughs> on the cobblestones. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, when you are admitted to learn, it's kind mm-hmm. of like coming from that period of uh, coming to Sweden being an idea, and then it quickly becomes a reality, and then you have yes. a million different questions right so yeah. it sounds like going is just there for any single question you might have oh, for yeah. sure yeah and of course there's the unibuddy app which is a great way to talk to current students in your program and mm-hmm. i'm sure there will be a podcast about that at some point but um this was an awesome opportunity to kind of share that stress and anxiety with people who are mm-hmm. going through exactly what you were going through like step by step you all knew exactly what day you were yeah. going to get your accommodation offered. and Yeah. Um, but, like, all parts of the world. It's so crazy. Yeah. Like, you're all going through the same thing. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's what I really liked about that. I feel like it really facilitated that interaction. And, like you said, I feel like Unibuddy, though, is much more of, like, a formal-ish mm-hmm. app. Yeah. Whereas in um, Going, it's just, like, it's unfiltered, whatever yeah. you want. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> but in the, in the best way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like I mentioned earlier, I met two really close people through, through going, and one of them, she's from Ireland. And I remember through our chats on going very much just like, oh, what are you studying? Like, mm-hmm. it wasn't as deep into the conversation, but then she randomly texted me um, the week that she arrived, and she's like, hey, I haven't had my first Fika yet. I feel Aww. like it's illegal. <laughs> and I was like, I haven't either. And so then we went together, and now... Like, we're super close, and I'm going to spend, du- like, um, the New Year's in Dublin with her. So it's just crazy oh, how, like, these relationships have, so like, sweet. developed. Yeah, so me? I'm just, I'm really, I'm really thankful for going, to be honest. Because yeah. without it, I don't know how I would have met 
any of the the close people in my life right now. So yeah, even the I took a trip um, over the Christmas holidays to Gothenburg to go see the markets, and it yeah. was just like this conglomerate of people that randomly came together through the app and. Yeah probably never would have met up otherwise different yeah. we live in different areas study different things and it was just like a okay well yeah you know what somebody put into the travel buddies mm-hmm. if anybody wants to come this is the plan and and people took her up on it including me and and then yeah. we went together and had a great time and it's just little things like that the app is really what you make of it so mm-hmm. you can do what you want you know? <laughs> it sounds to me like it's an awesome way to make friends oh yes yes, yes. honestly it was probably the easiest way to make friends for me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is just because there is that period of waiting when you yeah. get admitted. As you guys have just been, congratulations again. When you get admitted, it's that in between where you're like, okay, for a lot you're of excited. people, time to yeah. start the visa process. But the actual fun stuff that you really want to hop to, mm-hmm. go in, lets you get a little taste of that, of meeting the other people and and figuring out what Loon does have to offer. Yeah. And then I remember also um, the creator of Goin, he's, he's on, on the app. app. He's super active I messaged on the app. him, yeah. <laughs> he like sent me a connection request and I was like, founder of Goin, okay. <laughs> so I messaged then, him, I was like, I just want to say this app is yeah. incredible, thank you. I just left yeah. it at that. But then he also, he's, he was like, please let me know if there's anything that you think yeah. we should fix or change. And I was like, wow, like this is a really great way to like keep the app yeah. like, just like at its at its best. You know? And they have been making like improvements. They haven't changed the app majorly, but I can see the minor improvements. Yeah. Like it's just getting better every time I log in. For so. sure. Yeah, I can see that as well. Yeah. That's really cool. I didn't know yeah, yeah, no, he's to there. the owner on mm-hmm. there. He's super young too, right? Uh, yeah, he's yeah. chill. I think it's from Dutch maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. I yeah. think it's a, going as a company from Utrecht yeah, or okay. definitely the Netherlands. And yes. Utrecht is quite a similar university to Lund. So yeah, perfect. it's like a perfect fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So you're going to go to Dublin for New Year's. Yes. That's exciting so also. So exciting, yeah. yeah. And you met that person on Going. No, yes. <laughs> nice. And yeah, I mean, we have a separate episode about traveling oh, yeah. when you're an international student as well. But wow. it really sounds like that's one of the key aspects as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got Definitely. that sort of thing because I arrived to Lund a little late. And I, even though I was, you know, a week or two late when I came in, I mm-hmm. still had already talked to most of yeah. my classmates. So I got to just jump right in. And same thing, one of my classmates that was on the app with me, she mm-hmm. said, yeah, I know you mentioned that you weren't going home for Christmas because mm. we were talking about, you know, holidays That's and things sweet. like that. And I'm going to Denmark to yeah. spend it with her family. Wow. So, like, Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I was amazing. like, one week. Wow, that's crazy. And I realized it's because we made these connections yeah. beforehand. And, like, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Nice. I have a question about going now. Yeah. Mm. Um, do you use it to, like, discuss academic things related to your program very mm-hmm. often or do you for example go into a separate whatsapp group or how does that work yeah so mm-hmm. since i came to like lund i do feel like our like lucem group they did create a whatsapp chat just so it was easier for everyone to go on there because now i feel like going is really good initially and you can still carry on using it but sometimes like other groups they just go into like a more personal, like either face- Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. So now I just use that, but I still get the notifications from going and go on and see what's going on with everybody. But yeah, at least for me, that's my case. What yeah, about you? it's the same thing. We yeah. have a WhatsApp group for our program, yeah, but same. it works out well because going is like a good intermediary. You don't just want to give everybody your number, give exactly. everybody your Instagram, and 100%. have all these people, you know, that you don't know on your Instagram mm-hmm. for forever. You know how that is. <laughs> so going yeah. is almost like a good just tester. You test the waters and then it's if you're true. like really making a connection with this person, now we can, you know, go off the app and go somewhere else. But yeah. Again, it, it's really great for when you have big groups like your accommodation or mm-hmm. just a hobby that you want to do that you don't want to have a thousand people in a WhatsApp chat. Like going yes. is a great place to keep those conversations going. Perfect. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a golden moment, right? When you get admitted, you have this so much excitement and so many questions and then going comes in at that perfect time yes. and you can have those conversations. I was yeah. so eager to, to get like access to the app when we first got accepted. Yeah. I just wanted to see, I wanted to just to see people. <laughs> I'm really excited for this tidal wave of new students that's going to be too. on there because now we get to give back and we get to yes. be the current students like, answering questions. Which is pretty crazy yeah. we were in their position I know, like ago. months ago. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah, you're the wise ones now. Ah, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Go> that <far. laughs> yeah. 
All right. Well, guys, was there anything else that we haven't talked about regarding the app? It sounds pretty cool, I must say, from what you said. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Everybody should give it a go. Just 100% recommend. Click yeah. the link on the email, mm -hmm. download it. It's a simple process, and I guarantee you will not regret. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Well, congratulations to everyone who got admitted Thank to Lund University. <laughs> Please just go on to meet your fellow admitted students yes. and connect with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Thank you both so much for coming in today. Yes, thank you. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Lund University International Podcast. If you're interested in learning more about Lund University, you can go to our website, lunduniversity.lu.se. You can also follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and X, and you can chat with current students on Unibuddy. Don't forget to subscribe, and we look forward to bringing you a new episode very soon.